Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner-friendly coding tutorials on Roblox, Scratch, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. Today we will be making a fun and exciting project in Scratch Junior. Here's a preview to our project. In the first scene, we have our title for the uh, game, Space Invaders. And then when we click on the start, we we'll enter the actual game where you see aliens appear and disappear at their own rates. Here we can control the rockets by clicking on the two arrow keys. Left arrow key to move to the left, and right to the right. And we shoot by pressing the red button. Yeah, let's get started. So we're just going to start by creating a new project on Scratch Junior. So let's go to home and let's click on new project. And the first thing we're going to do in the new project is delete our character click. We do that by holding left click over here and we can delete it. And now we can change our background. To do that, we click this picture up here. And we're going to pick the bottom right picture of the moon and the earth. I'm going to press OK. Next, let's make the second slide of our um, game. So here we can click on this button, which will make a new screen for us. And again, we'll be doing tick. So hold left click, delete. And we're going to change the background picture to this space picture, the one next to the moon. Click. And now let's go back to our first scene with the moon and the earth. And we're going to click on this ABC button. And we're going to write Space Invaders. And this will be the title of our game. And over here, we can change the color. So let's change it to white. And press Enter. And here we have it. We have Space Invaders. Um, it's our title. So now let's add a button for our user to go to the actual game. So here, we can add um, a sprite. I'm pressing a plus key. And here we can scroll down until we find the star, which is right here. And we can make the star a little bit bigger by going over here to the purple uh, person button. Click on the first one and just double click it a couple of times. And that will actually help uh, activate this function, which is increasing the size of the star. After we're done, we can drag this function out and our star will remain the same size. Now we should add the code for the star. So when we click on it, it goes to the next screen. Um, so the first thing we want to do is take the Wayne clicked on events controller. And now we want to go over here to the red blocks and drag in this block over here. And now when we click on the double star, it will bring us to the next screen, just like that. So for this game, we will need eight characters, a rocket, a bullet, three aliens, and three user buttons. And the three user buttons will have a left arrow key, a right arrow key, and a shoot button. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is make the rockets. So I already have to save up, but the rockets is all the way at the bottom. So if you can go all the way to the bottom, rockets. And we don't have to focus on resizing this rocket for now. And now let's do the controls. So to do the controls, we actually draw them by hand. So to do that, we add a new sprite. And over here, the top left, we have an empty picture. And it says character. And we'll actually use this paintbrush key to edit this character. So first thing first, we can just write left arrow and change the title. And over here, we want to click on the width and the method of strokes. So here we want it to be freestyle. And let's make the color yellow. And let's draw our arrow just like this. And when we're done, we can press the uh, done button at the top right. Now we have our left arrow. And we're going to do the same thing for the right arrow. So once again, add a sprite, character, and a character, let's change the name to right arrow. In a setting, it's saved for us, so all we have to do is draw on it. Just like that. 
And once again, it's fine that it's looking a little bit big. Um, and then finally, we want a shoot button. And then here, I just want a big red circle. So add sprites. Click on this character, add a character. And over here, I'm going to change from freestyle to drawing circles. And I'm going to change from yellow to red. And I can just drag a little bit like that and draw a circle. And to fill out the circle, I can use this paintbrush tool. Click in the middle and you'll fill up the whole character. Don't forget to uh, change this to make this, and we're going to need this button. So I click OK, flip between our arrow keys, and this would be all for now. So now we're going to create our bullets and three aliens. So to make the bullets, we can draw on this. So create a new sprite, new character, and then paintbrush. Here we change this title to bullets. And instead of using freestyle or circle, we can use the triangle or rectangle option. Make the bullets green and drag it like this. And again, to fill it, we can use this fill tool. And press OK. Now I have our bullets. And before we make our aliens, let's just resize everything. So using the same method as before, we can actually go on each one, go on the size down buttons, click each one twice, drag it up, click twice, drag it up, and then here, click it twice, and we'll just very quickly resize everything down. Okay, and let's do the rocket as well. Press the points. Awesome. And now let's just reposition everything. We want the points to be inside of rockets. Two arrow keys to be next to each other like this. I think my left arrow key is a bit too big, so I'm just going to resize it one more time. Just like so. And now we should make our aliens. So again, we're going to draw on this. So let's click on the create sprite, new sprite, and uh, let's edit our character. Let's change the name to alien. And we can use a freestyle and uh, make a whip and use brown. And just draw any shape here. You can uh, draw any shape. Use the filler tool, fill the whole thing up. Use the circle option and use red eyes and just form the eyes for the alien. Again, we can use fill tool to fill up the middle. And this would be our alien. And now let's just duplicate this. We can do this by clicking plus. And the alien we just made will be saved over here. As you can see, um, I've made this once already, so all of my previous tries have been saved here. So we're going to use the most recent uh, alien that I made. And we're going to add two more, or add two of them in total. Just like so. So now let's program the application so we can actually shoot and control with the rockets. So here we want the arrow keys to move our rocket while the red button to shoot. So let's go on the left arrow button and we're gonna click, right click on, and we're gonna use this option which will send a signal. And if you press on the down arrow key, it will drop down to six different colors. And basically you will associate this type of signals with the colors. So here, let's assign our left arrow key to this orange signal. And we have to close off our block using the end of block on the red command. And let's do the same thing for the right. Here, we grab the when clicked on event signal. And this time, let's change the right arrow signal to yellow. So we have the orange for left and yellow for right. And then we should end it with uh, this over here. In final step, we add the button. 
So again, you can select the top, uh, button by either clicking it in the game or on the left. I'm gonna grab when clicked on, send signal. And here I'm gonna use the same color as the button, red. Make it a little bit easier for myself to remember. And once again, close it off. And that will be our whole uh, controls for the rocket. So now let's program the bullet. So for the bullet, we want a couple of things. First, we want it to move where the rocket is moving. So we should give it the same commands as uh, the rockets in terms of movement. Secondly, when the red button is clicked on, we want to send the bullets up and then come back so that it will be the same place the rocket ready to fire it again. So to do that, we can first hide the rocket at the beginning of the game. That way the user can't see it. And when the red button is clicked, we show the bullet, it goes up, it hides again, and then comes back down from just being invisible so that the user can't see it coming back, but can only see it going up. So let's do that. So first we want the green button or the green flag to be clicked on and make it invisible. So to make it invisible, we go to the purple side. This invisible character. And now while we add it, we want to set the speed of the bullet. So we can do that by clicking on the orange blocks. Select the sky running. Click on the down drop and click on the fastest option, which is, would be the one with the most horizontal lines. Find it, close up, close it off. Next, we want to do the movement of the bullets. And once again, this will be the same as a rocket. So here, once we receive a signal, either from orange or yellow, remember orange is left and yellow is right. Here, we're going to do the left. So upon receiving orange signal, we want to move and use this blue controls to move, and we can use the left dash, move it once, and that's it. Close it. And now let's do the right arrow upon receiving signal, and this should be the yellow signal. We want to use the right dash, move it one to the right, just like that. And for the shoot, we know we want to receive the red signal. And here we want it to show itself. So let's show itself, show the bullet, fly forward, and let's fly forward and let's change this number to seven. And then this will reach the top of the screen. And after it does, we want to make that visible and drop back seven so that it will be at the same location as the rocket. Changes to seven. Awesome. And close. Final one. And we're done with bullets. Let's continue with our rocket. So here our rocket says two things. It moves based on the arrow keys. And at the start of the game, when the green flag is clicked on, we'll start the movement of our alien. So it'll go invisible and invisible within the timer, making us have to hit them when it's visible. So here for the movement, it will be the same thing as the bullets. So upon receiving an orange signal, and we know that's a left turn, we'll move it one to the left, close it. And now upon receiving a yellow signal, which we know is a right arrow key. We'll move it one to the right, and then close it off. And finally, when the green flag is clicked on, we want to set the speed of our, of our uh, rocket, and we'll set it to the fastest. And now we also want to send a signal to the aliens. So here we'll have send signal. And here we can send a green signal, a new one that the alien will be checking for. And again, close it. And that will be for our aliens, or that will be for all for our rockets. And let's move to the aliens. 
So for the aliens, we want them to start being invisible and visible within the timer after the green flag is clicked on. And we already know that our bullets over here uh, follows our arrows, follows our rockets, which our rockets would then send a signal upon ha having the green flag to our aliens. So here we want to check for the green flag. So upon receiving the green flag, we can uh, start the process of invisibility and turning invisible and visible within the timer. Um, so to do a timer, we can first add 10 seconds and change this 10 to five. And you're gonna say for after five seconds, be invisible. And then have another timer. This time we can keep it as 10. And uh, here we wanna turn it to visible. And we want this to repeat. So we're gonna use the repeat end over here, just like that. And finally, when it hits or it gets hit by the bullets, we want the uh, alien to turn invisible. So here we go back to the events. When this sprite is touched, we wanna set sprite to invisible. That would be all. And this is the last part of the project. Um, this is a whole game. We should copy the same exact code over here to the other two aliens. So let's do that really quickly. Events, check green flag. And here we can actually change the timer settings a little bit. We can have 10 seconds to be invisible. And then wait five seconds and it will turn visible. So this basically will turn visible for 10 seconds and then turn it invisible. And then after five seconds, turn back visible. And again, when it's touched on, we want it to be invisible. That would be all. Yes. Let's move on to our last alien. When received green signal. Let's wait five seconds turn invisible, and again, wait five seconds, turn invisible. And again, these numbers, you guys can change around to your likings. Finally, we have the collision, in which we turn it invisible, and the end. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Also check out our other two videos here while you're waiting for the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.